All right, so now that we have our hardware set up, let's take a look at the software. Um, I've added a uh, example sketch to the tutorial, and it's basically a modified version of the uh, PubNub JSON Wi-Fi example that comes with the PubNub library that's packaged inside of the latest version of Energia. So I'm using Energia version 14, um, and I'm using the example that I provided you guys with. Um, so I'll walk you through the code just to kind of uh, explain a little bit of the functionality that's available here. But in short, we want to publish our forest sensor data values to the PubNub server. And at that point, uh, we can do whatever we want with it. Um, in, this, in this case, we're going to be using freeboard.io to capture those incoming JSON uh, messages, parse it, and ultimately visualize them on widgets on the freeboard cloud side dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is pull in the appropriate libraries. Um, so these are the libraries that we actually need for this specific setup. Uh, in addition, we need to make sure we pass in our appropriate Wi-Fi credentials. So this one is the Wi-Fi uh, password and SSID for the hotspot that I have here. You're going to want to replace that with whatever um, your Wi-Fi credentials are. Um, I also need to provide a few PubNub related credentials, uh, my pub key, sub key, and the desired channel that you want to communicate through. Uh, in this case, I'm using MSP430 Launchpad. Um, I also added a few lines of code here so that the code can be dynamic depending on the location of the, the sensors. So in this case, if we remember, looking back at our hardware, we have the PIR sensor hooked up to pin number 23. We have the uh, moisture sensor hooked up to pin number 24. We have the potentiometer hooked up to pin number 25. And then we have the ambient light sensor hooked up to pin number 26. Um, so that's what we populate in the array here. Uh, next, we jump to the setup section of our code. Um, and basically, this is where we configure our UART, our serial communication, so that we can send diagnostic information back to the built-in terminal of Energia. Um, I'm also going to check to make sure I have the Wi-Fi booster pack available on my hardware, uh, which I do. Then I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi, and that's mostly done with the Wi-Fi.begin API call. So I just need to pass in my SSID and password, and my launchpad will get an IP address. Once I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I call pubnub.begin, and this is going to connect me to my pubnub server. Um, I simply have to pass in my pub key and sub key. And that's it in the setup function. Here in the loop section, this is where my sort of main application lives. First thing I do is uh, uh, notify my sketch how I'm connected to PubNub, and that's over Wi-Fi. Um, and I'm going to call a function called createMessage. So this function is defined uh, down here at the bottom of my code. And basically, this will read my, my sensor values, um, all four of them. It's going to go through a for loop to iterate through the four pin numbers that I uh, mentioned earlier in the array at the top of my code, pin 23, 24, 25, 26. And I'm going to use the uh, analog read function that's available inside of Energia. And I'm going to read the uh, latest values coming from each of those sensors. Um, and once I get those readings, I'm going to add it to a JSON object. So I have a, a JSON uh, Energia library that I've imported into my sketch. And that's what I'm going to use to package up uh, my JSON message with the latest four sensor values. Then this function is simply going to return that JSON message back to my main loop. So once I have that value here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transfer it to a character array. And once I have it in a character array, I can go ahead and publish it to the cloud using the pubnub.publish API call. I simply have to point to the appropriate channel and uh, provide a pointer to the, uh, to the string that carries my uh, formatted JSON message that includes the four latest sensor values. So in a nutshell, this is just going to loop over and over again. Basically, I'm going to create a new message with the latest sensor values. I'm going to then publish it to the cloud, and that's just going to loop forever and ever. And for the most part, we should be getting a new message in our PubNub Dev Center or Dev Console uh, once or twice a second. So it's pretty fast and more or less real-time functionality, uh, considering I'm getting my four real-world data value points uh, being published to the cloud using the PubNub Energia library. So with that, we can go ahead and click on this button here to compile the code and flash it onto our launchpad. And once the code is running, we can jump to the pubnub.com.